What's going on Aquarius? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Guys, welcome here to the channel and just so you guys know, I have a brand new deck and you guys are going to be the first ever read that I've done using the Deviant Moon Tarot. So, hold on. It's pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, yeah, for July... 2020 month ahead reading um yeah definitely let me know what you think of the deck down below in the comments you guys um you know end the reading and just say hi or whatever and thanks everyone for being here and you know subscribing to the channel and being part of my journey i really appreciate you guys i'm not really loving this camera angle hold on for a sec i think that's better but anyway so I'm pretty excited to do this read for you guys. Um, you know, anytime I get a new deck, it's it's pretty thrilling. And these are really like, you're going to see this artwork is just absolutely unbelievable. So um, I'm going to do a deck cut and let's just, let's do this. Five of Pentacles, you guys. Five of Pentacles, and you've got some character like tiptoeing around here. Just getting the impression here. Okay, Five of Pentacles is, you know, feeling lack. It's like feeling like there is not enough for you. Um, but the overall tone of this card right now, it's saying that there's lots out there, and what are you afraid of? You know, so you might have to face your fears in July. Like, what are you afraid of being successful? Um, what's the worst that could happen if you get money you know you can see the five pentacles like shining through here um there's some creepy eye here but it's your third eye and your third eye is looking at you going uh dude what is going on with you like why are you slinking around in the background over there looks really afraid there's some creepy artwork in these cards here you guys but i mean that's why i was drawn to it but anyway going to pull a few cards and then we'll tell the story. So we've got the four of swords. The four of swords asks you to take a break. Basically, you know, calm yourself down. And that could really come in handy when you see this energy here. It's completely different. Four of swords, forced rest, meditation, relaxation restoration that third eye is like super creepy so we've got the six of wands here you guys so it looks like you're whatever else is going to happen here you're really going to have a good month just sort of breaking out of i was Okay, I'm getting the words breaking out of your shell, breaking from tradition, which could be really monumental for you guys. And then the three of pentacles, which speaks of alchemy. So really pay attention in this artwork to these cards where they're, the characters are carving things out of stone and they're carving out of each other. So I'm getting here where you're going to be able to connect with people that are going to share your vision for the future. And then you guys are going to work together. There's going to be some sort of synchronicity between you guys that is going to allow you to start really building for the future. But... This five of pentacles energy needs to go. You know, once you have a chance to observe, why are you doing this? Like, why are you avoiding? Why are you ducking and hiding from the pentacles here? Like, try a little bit of an exercise, you guys. When you think of the word, like, try a word association. This can be really helpful. It can really help you uncover your true feelings towards wealth and abundance right so see words like rich 
opulent, abundant. And then what comes next? So you might have a little bit of work to do because there's a lot of people with precon preconceived notions that being wealthy turns you into a certain type of person. And there certainly are people like that out there, but it doesn't mean that you have to be one of them. You know, just try that simple exercise. And you could also try the sway test, which is where you ask yourself a question when you're standing straight up and then you close your eyes and you ask that question. And then if your body sways forward, you do believe that, gen like genuinely. If you sway backwards, then there's some sort of discrepancy in yourself, in your subconscious mind that you need to clear, which is probably why you're getting the Four of Swords here. Because the Four of Swords is really, that's a, like, it's almost like a caterpillar caterpillar phase you know so you can really start to bloom but with that six of wands you've got everything going here and then we have the hanged man so the hanged man really wants you to change your perspective on something totally and here's what it is you know because you have all this opportunity here with the six of wands and the alchemy card. And I'm seeing like words like your vibe attracts your tribe. You know, the energy that you're putting out is the energy that you're going to receive. So if you're operating in a place where you're afraid of money, you don't understand money. Maybe you think that people with money are spoiled or they don't deserve it or you're jealous um that's who you're gonna pull in really so with the hanged man i'm getting the feeling that somebody needs to come in and help you um especially if you grew up in a household where money was feared oh there isn't enough money you know or oh look at that rich rhymes with b word driving down the street do you know what i mean but your higher self knows better here's your higher self like peeking out and going bro snap out of it although that is a really creepy card so hanged man who can help you you've got the knight of pentacles and this card is like on a steam engine you know, so there could be an earth sign coming in here to help you guys, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, to sort of pull it together and snap yourself into the realization that you deserve every single thing that you can get your hands on when it comes to abundance. So there's definitely a caterpillar phase here where things are going to have to be rebuilt inside you. You know, um, the thought processes, but this is a great month to do it. Knight of Pentacles is bringing in messages. He's taking everything. Hold on for a sec. Like he's moving forward at a lightning speed. Like he's not letting anything stop him, you know? I'm really reminded of steampunk artwork right now. And then there's artwork here too with the statues. So there's something really creative that you guys could be doing to accelerate your process but right now, I mean, this is like not good energy, not good. You know, instead of like, you gotta turn that frown upside down, like literally and, and look around you and see what's possible and not be jealous of other people. That's such a deconstructive sort of energy for you guys to have. So really have an opportunity for someone to come in and then this person is not only going to change your perspective they're going to start introducing you to other people because you've got the three of pentacles which is earth and then you guys there's such a synchronous synchronistic energetic like it's how it, like when you put a band together and you get the right few people and then they end up like basically taking over the world you know 
and this is what is coming in for you in July. It's going to be those people that help you take over the world and run your own life instead of letting life run you with this energy. Like, look, let's pull one more card because pulling that one right away, it's like, man, you really got to get over that, you know? But then you have the Six of Wands here. So this is also fantastic. Um where everybody's like, yeah, you did it. Yeah, you did it. So people should be really gung-ho and happy for you. And if you're with people that are not happy for your success, <laughs> see you later. Oh, you've got the moon card. This card is wild. Really interesting card here. Um, where did I put the book? Hold on. Actually, let me grab the book. I had to turn another light on. I really wish they'd start making these in billboard font. So this says, brainwashing, dark influence, trickery, illusion, subconscious control. Okay, so this totally, totally explains this over here, right? Because you want to be dancing to your own beat, not the beat of somebody else. And I don't know where you guys are on your spiritual path. And, you know, there are sometimes your soul contract is hijacked by other people. So I recommend things like declarations of sovereignty. And I have one in the folder, um, declarations and meditations. And it's legit you know, and you want to maybe start looking into things like that. And you could have been brainwashed by a boss that says, oh, we don't have enough money to give you a raise. You know what I'm saying? Or parents that, well, we just can't afford that. And they were brainwashed. And, you know, everybody along that line was brainwashed. So this is where you need to intentionally go into your cocoon and change things around and understand that Things are markedly different and look at the world around you and you can cross borders from five of pentacles energy into this card of alchemy and then go full steam ahead into a brighter future and build whatever you want and the whole universe is supporting here you guys right now and you do have an earth sign coming in to help you change that perspective so earth signs once again taurus virgo capricorn right so very interesting very pivotal month for you aquarius a lot going on in your world of abundance you're going to meet some very influential people with this three of earth and there it's not just going to be a flash in the pan these are going to be people that you're going to be able to build a significant future with you guys are probably going to build some sort of empire together because again you guys are all paying attention to each other it's not people that are just going to rip you off or come in and steal your idea these are people that want to build with you so that you can prosper, all three of you. And it's going to be that sort of electric current going with, with you guys, that synergistic vibration. So be on the lookout for people that you automatically vibe with because these are the people that you are going to build your success with July 2020. All right, Aquarius. Namaste. Bye for now.